Hello everyone, how is everybody doing? Uh, welcome to another Raid Shadow Legends video. Today we're going to be doing another uh, character review. Uh, we're going to be reviewing Apothecary. So we're going to be going over his skills, where he's good at, his artifacts, how you can build him, all the multiple ways you can build him. And we're going to go over his masteries and we're going to show where he is, uh, where he excels at. So Apothecary is a rare support character. In my opinion, he's one of the best, uh, if not the best rare character. And he's in part of the High Elves uh, faction. So he, I only have him level 50. You don't really have to take him that far. He can also uh, work at level 40 as well. But if you have the, uh, the time, you can take him to level 50. Okay, so let's go over his skills first. So his basic attack, it attacks three times at random. So random means that he can attack um, if you're fighting an arena and you're trying to target one enemy, he might attack other enemies too, which might be bad if the other enemies have counter attack. But this is really good against a single target because it attacks three times that one target because it's not random anymore. And also it's a very good move against the clan boss if you get Giant Slayer on uh, Apothecary. Because Giant Slayer um, is better for champions that attack three or more times. His next attack is uh, Soothing Chant. So Soothing Chant heals the target ally by 35% of their health. This heal can be critical. So that's the key word here. It can be critical. So this move, um, you don't really need to upgrade it. Well, you don't have a choice. It's just random, right? Yeah, you don't need to upgrade on that because if you can be critical heal, then it's good. Same with this move. You don't need this to be upgraded. And the next move, third move is Boon of Speed. It places a 30% increased buff on all allies for two turns. So this part right here, the places increase 30% increased speed, is before you ascend him. Once you send him, I think it's three stars ascension. Then he gets um, this is the key part right here. He fills the turn meter of all allies by 15%. So this is what makes him really good. This and his basic attack for a clan boss. But this move makes him good like like throughout the whole game. And the only moves that you need to level up is this move boon of speed it's at level two right now because of the cooldown it takes four turns right so if you get that you can take get that down to two turns so you can make your team like super fast keep going again and again which is especially helpful in the clan boss also in arena too and his aura skill increases ally defense in dungeons by 21 percent 21 percent is pretty good if he's still using executioner that is very solid for him to clear uh, campaign but I guess an executioner fell off yeah so those are his moves let's go over his uh, artifact so there are two ways to build a uh, apothecary you can build all speed like I did try to get speed uh, substats as well I don't have it here five star yeah try to get five stars have speed substat right here and the shield speed subs, uh, substat so these top rows again are all uh, the primaries are always the same and we go down to the gauntlets so the reason why I did crit rate percentage as the gauntlets is because he can he uh, critically heal. So that increases by 33%. You can also uh, do HP percentage to make him last longer. Uh, and the chest, HP percentage with a speed uh, substat. And then the shoes always speed. And if you have, speed substat. So that's the... Uh, one way to build him for the artifacts down here the accessories you don't need to worry about it just put what you can try to get hp on it if you're having trouble with the spiders then i also have a spiders den guide for free to play players uh, yeah so don't worry about these accessories just put whatever you have when i try to get a hp as a primary all right moving on to masteries so masteries i'm not fully completed his masteries but the target the goal is to get this one right here giant slayer so it has a 30% chance of inflicting bonus damage when attacking. Bonus damage is equal to 7.5% of the target's champion's max HP, or 3% of the target's max HP when attacking bosses. So clan boss is a boss. That's why his name is clan boss, right? So yeah, his bonus damage can occur on each hit of a skill. So he, he hits three times. So each of those hits has a 30% chance of inflicting bonus damage. But it does not count as an extra hit. So that's, this is why Apothecary is crazy good. If you can finish a minotaur grind so you want to go offense and support tree i have another build i'm going to uh, be placing right in the middle on the defensive tree you can uh copy that and just pause the screen and screenshot it so i'll i'll try to explain why i chose what i chose so 
So the first one I chose uh, crit rate percentage, 5% crit rate, that's good for his heals. And then crit damage up because he's going to be attacking with his basic. And then his heals will do more as well. And then the next one I chose um, heals by 5% of the damage inflicted when attacking with 50% or less HP. So that is really good for the clan boss if you have 50% or less HP and the giant uh, slayer procs, you're going to be recovering a lot of health. Yeah, so that's life drinker. And then this move right here. Increases damage inflicted targets with less than 40% HP by 8%. So if you're fighting a clan boss and he has less than 40% HP, uh, you'll be doing more damage by 8%, which all adds up. Next one is bring it down. Increases the damage inflicted by 6% with attacking targets with higher max HP. So the clan boss will have higher max HP. This will also uh, work in, uh, with uh, Giant Slayer as well. And the next one. Next one we're going to have to move down here. So we can reach Giant Slayer. So uh, increases damage inflicted by 6% in the arena and 3% in all other locations for each enemy killed by the champion battle. He doesn't really kill enemies, so it's kind of feels like kind of it's a waste. But you guys can also follow the other um, mastery tree that I have up there. And then the last one, Giant Slayer, the most important one. So you can feel free to uh, if you're starting off the game, you can do uh, a little bit of the Minotaur grind just to get this crit rate and the crit damage. And then you can also get, uh, let's go over the support for, uh, we go for the HP because he has no accuracy moves, no moves for debuffs. And then you can get this move as well. So increases the value of heals by this champion. Uh, this champion casts by 8, 5%. So you can go for this and then you can stop until you get further into the game. And then you can uh, do more things. And then this move uh, heals the champion by 10% of their max HP the first time an enemy is killed in each round. And the next one. I like this move. It has a 30% chance of increasing the turn meter by 10% when a buff cast by this champion is removed or expired. So he places the speed up buff for his, all his allies. And then um, if you reduce that cooldown of that skill, it's going to be two turns. So every two turns, you can place a buff and then it lasts for two turns, I think. Speed lasts for two turns. And then when it expires on all those allies, he has a 30% chance of increasing the turn meter by 10%. So that's really solid. So he can keep going and going. This is why he's really good. And the next move I have, uh, he has 5% chance of decreasing the cooldown of random skill by one turn at the start of every turn. So that is also good. 5% is really, really sl small, but you know, sometimes you get the chance, right? It's like less, it's like a less of a chance of getting a legendary from Sigur Shard. <laughs> Which shouldn't be like that. Sigur Shards are hard to come by. The next one I have increases the set bonus of basic artifact sets by 50%. This increases multiplicative, not additive. So... This is why he's really fast because of this. If you have a speed set, it increases the set bonus by 50%. And then I haven't uh, decided what I'm going to do here. So you can just follow what I posted on, on there. All right, so we're done the masteries. Let's go over where he's good at. So I can't rate him yet, but I can show you guys. So clan boss, I would give him a five. Five uh, out of five. Fire Knight's Castle, five out of five, because he has a multiple hit, he has three hits. Campaign locations, uh, he's a good sustainer, and he's good for people trying to clear campaign in the beginning, because he helps his all his allies stay alive. So I would give him uh, five out of, out of five on that. He's not, think about it, he's not somebody that clears campaign, he's a support character, so he can support you into clearing campaign. Arena offense, I would give him a five. Defense 5. Spider's Den, he's not good at Spider's Den at all. He just uh, increases the speed and turn meter. So yeah, I guess a 3 is good. Dragon's Lair, I'll give him a 4. Minotaur's Labyrinth, I'll give him a 5. Because he's, what is he gets Giant Slayer, he's going to be crazy in Minotaur's Labyrinth. Ice Golem's Peak. I think, I'm pretty sure some people have soloed with Apothecary in Minotaur's Labyrinth. I mean, there, I think there's a Doom Priest as well. It's not about Doom Priest. Ice Golem's Peak. Ice Golem's Peak, yes. I'll give him a 4.5. Spirit Key, 4.5. Magic Keep, 4.5. Void Key, 4.5. Force Key, 4.5. So as you can see, he's a really solid character. The only um, downfall is a Spider's Den. And let's go over recommend artifacts where people recommend it. So they recommend Speed and HP. That is an arena build. But I would prefer to go for Pure Speed. Also, there's another build you can do with uh, Apothecary. It's using uh, the shield set over shields. So shield set, you need four of them. 
uh, 30% HP and ally shield for 3 turns. So this is only good in arena, but I think speed is better than this. So he provides a shield for your allies but by 30% of, the, of their HP for 3 turns. That's another way to build him and, for, and speed, so you build him 4 of these shields and 2 speeds. So those are the 2 ways to build Apothecary. Let me show you uh, why he's good in arena. We'll go over that. I'm not gonna go over all the dungeons and I can't do clan boss here because I don't have Giant Slayer, but I will make a video once I get Giant Slayer. And we gotta finish that Minotaur grind. Okay, let's just refresh the list. See if you look through arena, I mean gold three, uh, you can see that a lot of people actually use Apothecary. If they know that he's good. You have one here. Usually it's like every single team has one. Okay, let's try this team. This team's hard. So they got Ryan Beast. Yeah, okay, so we might lose, but we just want to showcase what Apothecary does in Arena. Usually Apothecary goes first, and the first move they do is Boon of Speed. Look at everybody's turn meter. So everybody's turn meter is almost maxed out, except for Relic Keeper, he has no speed on him. And then uh, let's try stunning Elaine. Okay, we got the stun. And we go for the AoE. And the reason why I didn't uh, use her uh, buff, south buff, is because I want her to use her AoE sooner. Uh, we'll try to kill Elaine. Okay, we couldn't kill her. Come on, Relic Keeper. <laughs> the heck? Okay, so this is this is one bad thing right here. So he attacks three times at random. So if he attacks, if I try to kill Elaine, maybe he might not kill her because he's weak right now. He might attack um, Executioner and get countered. Yep. Oh. Okay, this is this is the train right here. <laughs> this is when I lose. Look at that relic keeper, man. <laughs> yeah, but you guys get it, right? Let me try another match. His role is to increase the speed. This is why I don't use Spirit Host anymore. Because he does the job uh, very well. Spear host will just uh, decrease my uh, damage output. I feel like I'm having an issue with damage output right now too. Let's try this team. This team is good. <clears throat> Look at this aura skill right here. Increase ally HP in all battles by 33%. That's a lot of HP, man. I might not be able to uh, slay them in time. They have old blues, so if I have a red. Um, I don't think I, yeah, I don't really have any good reds. I do have Doom Priest, but no, we're just good to go with this team. Boon of Speed. Try to stun Kale so he doesn't kill us. Oh, we got two stuns, perfect. Okay, this time we're gonna buff. And then AoE, so we give uh, Relic Keeper a chance to finish people off. So the Relic Keeper goes, come on. Okay, buff. Slay Kale, go again. Uh, we're gonna try to kill this guy. Nope. This guy's pretty tanky, I guess. Um, attack. Okay. So we're gonna try to multiple hit this guy, maybe get some poisons on him. Oh, I hate this buff. <laughs> Damn, this buff seems like I'm wasting my turns. Okay, uh, we're just gonna heal Rowan so she doesn't die. Ooh. Okay, these all still have buffs on them, so we're gonna attack this guy. Again. Oh man. Okay. So we have to attack Apothecary. Ada looks like she's gonna die, man. Okay, Apothecary's down. We still have a full team. Ada might die soon. We're gonna speed. So imagine if you had that cooldown like at two turns. It'd be amazing. Seems like the game's slowing down. Okay, we can't hit this guy, so we're gonna hit her. Nice damage. And we're gonna try to get a stun on her only. Yes. And finish her off. 
Okay, one guy left. We're gonna heal Aethel. See that heal? 16,000. That's a strong heal. Okay, multiple hits. And that's the fight. So Aethel, you can see Apothecary is really good. I've also done a review for uh, Aethel. Oh, Kairos times here. That plays uh, Brawl Stars. <laughs> Yeah, make sure you guys subscribe to me so I can actually get my uh, get my arena team up here. Get you guys some easy ones, I guess. Because I am collaborating with Plarium, but they said the, they will only put me up there if I get more subscribers. So you guys subscribe, and hopefully we can get uh, get the giveaway done. They still haven't gone back to me about that. I said they will, but hopefully they don't change their mind. And the only way you can win the giveaway is uh, if you are subscribed. It might be uh, Sacred Shards or Ancient Shards I said before. So yeah, that's a review for Apothecary. Uh, as you can see, he's very good all around in the game, and he's possibly, quite possibly, the best rare in the game. So I'll have the score right up there, up there. And I want to thank you guys for watching. And if you made it this far, thank you even more. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you for watching again.